hey guys happy saturday um so i just filmed the big unboxing haul that um you guys have already seen on our channel from mm, i forget what day this goes up and what day that went up i don't really do a lot for our youtube shop is the one that edits and puts everything up so i film and then i hand it to her and say here you go um but anyways i know you guys have already seen it so i just want to show you the aftermath um i sat in my room and filmed it there is all the trash that i now have to do something with and all of the stuff is just laying there on my bed that i need to put away so i'm about to do that um shelby went to the gym and i just heard her walk in so um I know she just got back um i need to show her all of this stuff because she's been dying to see what's been all in all of the boxes that i keep getting that she has no idea that about um i went on a big shopping spree um so also my stomach is growling it is like lunchtime on saturday and i haven't had anything to eat yet today i don't think i think i had a protein bar and two cups of coffee but that's it. So I need to get a snack, I need to clean up this mess, and then it is such a beautiful day outside today. Um, it's like 62 degrees, beautiful, sunny. I think we're supposed to get a big cold front end tomorrow, so like this is a little treat, a little pre-spring, summer um, treat. So I think I'm gonna go um, maybe hang out at the park, maybe go on a walk, maybe take Poppy on a walk. We'll see if Shelby wants to hang out. Um, and do something, but that's kind of my plan. Made a smoothie, cleaned up my mess, then trash bags, cleaned everything off, put it away. Um, we are about to take Poppy on a walk. We, meaning Shelby and I, Alex is um, sick, um, so she doesn't feel up for going out, but it's such a nice day. Um, we're gonna steal Poppy and go have some fun. Um, mm wanted to tell you guys that on my eyes today I used this palette that I picked up at CVS that I told you guys about I'll show you the one at natural light here's my eye makeup I mostly used this color right here ice pop um, and then I did a little bit of old-fashioned in the crease um, I think I did a swipe of strawberry lemonade across my lash line when I was done. Um, and then I did, I think, some of citrus under my eye. Kind of as like a little eyeliner. It's pretty sparkly. Um, so yeah, that's what I did. I will say that the shadows are not quite as highly pigmented as maybe they come across on the palette. Um, I was expecting it to be pretty bright and um it was pigmented but not like crazy which honestly i prefer um so anyways i thought that this was like a fun summer palette i like how it's wearing so far so as i try more colors i'll keep you posted but just wanted to let you guys know this is what's on my eyes also i just used the sunscreen because i'm gonna have bare arms and well it's not summer and it's pretty warm outside it's about um 60 65 degrees and it's super sunny so um i put this on my arms and my chest i just wanted to say it is a spray i thought it might be a pump um but it is a spray so it's interesting like an oil spray um it's not obviously an aerosol spray so um i did have to rub it in pretty well um but it smells good and hopefully i will not get sunburned on our walk. Wait, hello, happy Saturday. Um, this morning I went to Equinox to work out. I did Sculpt Society, which is one of my favorite classes. And now, Ash and I are taking Pop Pop on a walk because you know. this is the, oh. <laughs> Never mind then. Did you say that this is like a really nice day? Yeah. Oh. Well, I don't even know why I'm filming anything then. Got my water to share with Poppy. Ashley's got her Pop Up bowl. 
Um, not my pop-up bowl. Poppy's, Poppy's pop-up. Pop yeah, Poppy's pop-up bowl. <laughs> That's what I, I do meant. have a pop-up bowl. Um, we just left Al and she just started re-watching the last season of Game of Thrones um, to kind of catch us up. I don't really have time to sit and watch it all even though I want to. Um, so hopefully she can give us like a little recap of everything that happened because it's been quite some time since we've watched any Game of Thrones. Um, that's where we're at today. I'm just gonna take a shower, probably like do a face mask, maybe paint my nails later tonight. Just some like self-care situation. Oh, you lost me in the sun. Um, but other than that, this is what we're doing. You want what? Iced coffee? Sure, we can order it and then one of us can just run in and grab it real quick. Alright, we're at the end of Saturday. Um, I am going to take my makeup off and then I'm going to do a face mask. And I think I'm going to try the new Amazon one that I just got. So, put my hair up. Um, we... Went on a walk with Poppy and then um, kind of didn't do anything else. <laughs> we were each kind of hanging out separately and I went um, and did a lot of work that I needed to get done. Um, I don't know what Shelby was doing, but I haven't really seen much of her today. I think right now she is watching Gilmore Girls. She decided she wanted to restart it, so that's what she's doing. I'm going to do this face mask. And then I think I'm going to go um, lay in bed and read a book that I'm reading. Um, I am not that far into it, but I'm really enjoying it so far. And when I am done with it, I will let you guys know if I like it or not. Um, I am planning to do a blog post, like what I have read lately, um, probably within the next month or so i'm waiting until i have a little bit more content for that post to go up with like full reviews it's been a little bit um since i've done one of those but i really just have not read a ton this year um just kind of lack of time been busy but trying to get back into that more and be a little bit more intentional about reading rather than watching tv um, so that, I don't think I showed it. I just used this Garnier Micellar Water to take off all of my makeup and then I go in with some of this, um, Thayer's Witch Hazel Rose Petal Toner, which I really like, on these cotton pads that I get from Amazon. This is my makeup removal routine. I just like to get my face nice and clean before doing any face masks. Okay, this is the face mask I'm going to do. It is from Amazon's new skincare line where everything is under $40. This is the charcoal balancing mask. This is that Yes To brand um, tool that I bought at CBS a little bit ago. Um, I did not think that it really did its job as a like peel off mask tool that I think it's branded as. Um, to me, my fingers worked way better than this to remove a peel off mask. But what I do like it is kind of like a spatula to help spread a mask so that it doesn't get all over your hands. For that, I like it. Um, so for the like $3 this was, it wasn't a loss, but um, I have not used this mask. 
it is charcoal obviously the directions say to apply a thin layer to clean skin and allow to dry for 10 to 15 minutes rinse off with warm water so i am going to use my tool and apply a thin layer Charcoal masks are really good for detoxifying if you have lots of breakouts. Um, it's really good for that. Um, just kind of help to pull out all of the impurities in your skin. For me, I don't typically have a ton of breakouts, but I do kind of have, I think I've already covered it. I do, I did have a random one kind of on my bottom chin here. Um, and it's been a while since I've done like a charcoal mask. I've been doing lots of brightening ones throughout winter because my skin has felt dull. So I kind of feel like it's time to introduce a little charcoal mask back into my routine. And I was interested to try this one from Amazon. Alex and Shelby joke that I buy everything from Amazon, which to be honest, I do. I love it. It's so easy and simple. Um, and I mean, I order stuff all the time. Um, I am using this all over my face, but if you wanted to do it more as a spot treatment, just on blemishes, you definitely could. Shelby does that a lot. Or she'll just put it on um, certain parts of her skin. Also, if you have really oily skin, it's good to do this in your T-zone. So, like, just your forehead and your, like, nose. Um, my skin is typically pretty dry. So, charcoal masks are kind of the enemy for that. As they kind of, as they're sucking everything out, they also kind of suck out the moisture. But I'm going to put that back in with my skincare. So I'm not too worried about that. I would typically apply this much faster than I'm doing, but I'm talking while I'm doing it. And it's distracting. I think Alex is watching Moana. Zootopia was just on, which is a great movie. But I watch lots of animated kids movies for people that don't have kids. But they're good. Going to put this back away, wash off my tool, let this dry, and then I will be back to wash it off and I will let you guys know my initial thoughts. Okay, we're back. We're sort of dry. I waited about mm, 20 25 minutes because um, it was feeling dry, but it's not like super hard, which a lot of charcoal masks dry pretty hard. So, like, it would be hard for me to even like move my mouth and speak right now and um it's definitely dry um because like i can touch it and see it's not coming off on my fingers at all but it is not hard like it's flexible but dry which is intriguing um so i'm gonna wash it off and then do my nightly skincare battery died but face is clean it feels really good it doesn't feel as devoid of moisture as um, some charcoal masks make my skin as I was talking about earlier so I really like that fact um, my skin feels really clean and really good so first impressions of that mask are great I really really like it um, so I'm gonna use it a few more times and just long term what I think and I'll share my final review with you guys but I really like it um so now I'm gonna do my skincare so for my evening skincare I always start with my eye cream and I've been using this Kiehl's creamy eye treatment I really like it it's really thick and moisturizing um so I always use my ring finger dab a little bit under my eyes Rub that in. I've been using this Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating C 
serum um, for about a week now since I purchased it. Um, I use like mm, two or three pumps. I like it. It is a little bit more fragrant than I would ideally like. Um, I do think it is hydrating. Um, it's not my favorite serum, but I would say if you're on a budget and you're not wanting to spend a ton of money on a serum, um, this is a really good hydrating option for you um, from a drugstore perspective. So I did a little bit of that and then I'm going to do, should I try my new moisturizer? I'm going to. The Peter Thomas Roth Water Drench Cloud Cream. Let's give this a go. Mm. Feels like a cloud. So consistency wise, this actually feels very similar to the Biosense Moisturizer that I have. I thought it might, um, so that's kind of why I bought this as a replacement for that. Not that I don't love the Biosense one, because I do. It's actually right here. I still have a little bit of it left. Um, this one. It is the Squalling Plus Probiotic Gel Moisturizer from Biosense, which I really like. So this is my first impression. Feels very similar in consistency to that. I, um... So it helps lock in hydration for up to 72 hours. So I'll be interested to see how this um, wears, you know, overnight and see if I still feel super hydrated and stuff. Um, like tomorrow or for 72 hours as it suggests that it will. So I'll keep it posted, but I really like it. It's a gel type consistency. So I'm going to finish with a few drops of this Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate. This is my favorite thing. It is huge as you can see I have the jumbo one um, it is a little dropper so I just do like mm, three or four drops <sighs> it smells so good it's very relaxing perfect end to my routine before bed although I'm not going to bed yet Well, all set. Thanks for joining me for my mask self-care and skincare routine. Um, as I was coming into the bathroom, Shelby said she needed to ask me a question or she needed my help with something. So, gonna go see what she needs and then do a little reading. Hey guys, happy Sunday. Um, I'm here by myself right now. Al just left to get her nails done. Ash is at yoga. I'm here with Poppy Monroe, who does not want to be in bed with me. Um, but I'm currently reading, trying to get my March book of the month done. I am reading Work Party, which is um, Jacqueline Johnson. She is the CEO and founder of Create and Cultivate. Um, love her, and we got her book at the last conference we were at. Why are you whining? So I'm reading that. I'm pretty close to done now. Come here, Pop Pop. Come say hi. Say hi to all your friends. Uh, so I'm reading that until I have to go to Equinox. I'm taking Pilates this morning, which I'm so excited about because it's been about a month since I've done Pilates. We've just been super busy on the weekends and I was doing different classes. Um, so I'm excited to get back into Pilates again, even though I can't do it next weekend because we're having another staycation next weekend and I won't be back in enough time to take it. But I have about, let's see, about 30 more minutes until I need to get dressed and ready to go to Pilates. So I'm hopefully going to knock out a little bit more of this book, but it's just one of those weekend days that we just like have stuff to do. I've got to get my eyebrows done on the way. Oh, maybe I do need to leave a little earlier, actually. Yeah, I do. Um, gotta get my eyebrows done. Gotta go grocery shopping. I found some new recipes that I'm gonna try out. Um, I'm gonna clean the bathroom. You know, just some of those, like, household things. But 
that's what we're up to. You ready to read, Pop? She's not, she wants to get up. <laughs> but I'm at least gonna try and finish the chapter that I'm on. yoga, took a shower, and um, stopped at Whole Foods for some groceries on my way home. So we got back, showered, just made some coffee, I'm gonna have some yogurt, and um, I have some work I need to get done today. I need to do a blog post for this week, I need to do the newsletter for tomorrow because tomorrow is April! Wow, that's crazy. Um, and then I need to pin some stuff on Pinterest. Basically yesterday I was a little lazy. So today I gotta focus and get some stuff done, um, which is fine. I don't think we're doing anything else. So that's gonna be me today. Still working away, but my computer died. So that kind of forced me to take a little bit of a break while it's charging. I could also just move my charger to a different place, but I'd rather take a break. So I just got this snack. Um, I purchased this kombucha at Whole Foods. This is the um, spring edition of the kombucha that I loved in the fall. Remember that one I was obsessed with? Um, I didn't love the winter version, but this spring one is elderflower, jasmine, and violet, which sounds interesting. So I haven't tried it yet. I'm going to try it in a second. And then I also grabbed these dark chocolate almonds. I'm going to have a handful of those. Um, I might read a little bit in my book. Um, well, I'm waiting for my computer to charge. Oh, I also wanted to show you guys. Look at this on my arm. Um, honestly. I didn't even realize it happened when it happened yesterday. I saw it in yoga this morning when we were like doing our first pose and my arms were in the air and I was wearing a short sleeve shirt and in the mirror like across the room I'm like what is on my arm and I looked down and I thought it was dart or something. Um, no it's a giant bruise slash bite mark. I think at the park yesterday there was this one point where I picked Poppy up and she was really squirmy and trying to get back down and I thought she just scratched me but I guess she must have bit me too because um, there's a scratch a little bit above that mark that her claw scratched me and I saw that yesterday and my arm hurt really bad like immediately when it happened um I mean not like really bad but like there was pain and I'm looking and I just see the scratch and I was like okay that must be what's hurting um and, but I guess she must have accidentally in her excitement bit me totally not malicious she like doesn't bite ever um so it's kind of crazy that it happened and obviously I didn't even realize it happened as it was happening um that's also just like a really sensitive part in your arm you know that underside but Anyway, so that was fun. So then at yoga, I'm like, okay, people are going to think like, I don't know what they're going to think, but <laughs> it's a crazy obvious mark. Anyways, um, okay, I'm going to try this kombucha. It's raining outside today. It started like as soon as I got back. Um, so I just have like acoustic playlist happening on my phone and I have the window open so I'm just listening to the rain as I work and listen to music and it's kind of peaceful. I'm actually falling asleep a little bit which is the other reason I wanted to take a little bit of a break. Um, okay let's give this a try. It smells good. It is good. I don't love it as much as the fall one but I don't know that I'll ever love anything as much as I love that um but it's pretty good you get a lot it's it's very like flowery tasting which is obviously it's filled with a lot of flowers I happen to love elderflower and champagne and 
because this is a little bit bubbly, you get a little bit of a similar taste profile to that. So, all right, well, that's exciting. That's a winner. Um, the book I've been reading, I keep forgetting to look at the title of it. I keep talking about it. Okay, it's called The Killer Collective. Let me see if I can go back to the title page and show you. This is the cover, The Killer Collective. This was like, so I get, with my Amazon membership, if you guys have Amazon Prime as well, you get free downloads every month. And sometimes I download them, sometimes I don't. But more often than not, I download them and then they're just sitting in my Kindle app and I forget to read them. So that's kind of what I'm making myself do um, as I am trying to make more of an effort to read more is to go back and read the books I already have um, that I um, never read. So this is what I'm currently reading. I'm about halfway through it. Um, it's pretty good. It's like a, it's a thriller kind of like mystery situation and I like those kinds of books um, even though I don't read them too super often and then the other one that I recently read was this one this is called A Lily in the Light this was a, a good book um, a little bit of a mystery kind of book as well in a way um it's about ballet and a family and the main character in the book the first part of the book is set like in the 90s and the main character that does dance is the, the exact same age i am like when i was in the 90s um I don't think I'm making sense. I'm kind of tired. But anyways, I grew up dancing and obviously being like growing up in the same time period, I related personally to this story quite a bit. So I think that's probably why I liked it so much. But anyways, I just have like a ton of books here that I need to get through. Um, most of these I haven't read, but I'm a big e-reader digital reader kind of a person mostly because i read pretty fast and this is just a good way uh, all i have to do is bring my ipad with me when i'm traveling or reading and i don't have to worry about a bajillion heavy books so that's why i like it but okay i'm going to do a little bit of reading and then get back to work all right please excuse the state of me <laughs> my hair is a mess I um, kind of pulled like this whole arm and like my shoulder and this side of my shoulder a little bit last week nothing like crazy but like everything back here is all like taped up so that's what that is and my shirt's too big so it shows that anyway oh no <laughs> Jesus Louise okay I am about to swim for my floor um, it really needs to be cleaned, so um, we always swift for it. I have the dry one and then I have a wet one to clean it with. Um, I need to clean my mirror. Um, I need to like dust every surface. I got my dusters, so we're in full on spring Sunday cleaning mode. Ugh. These baby hairs are gonna be the death of me. At least they've grown so much. This is all because of the collagen that I take, but they just, if I don't have my hair done, it just, looks ridiculous anywho um all right let's get to cleaning it's one of those times where i need to pick up every little thing on the floor and just like get in there and clean everything so that's what we're going to do <music> Now I'm going to clean my big mirror. Um, the cleaning products we use are Branch Basics, which is an amazing women-run company um, of clean, clean products. You buy like a big bottle of concentrate, 
and then you have all these other bottles and you use certain amounts of concentrate and water to make each one this is the windows glass and mirror one which uses the least amount of concentrate um but this stuff is incredible i don't want to use like any other cleaner i only want to use this stuff because we think about like the food and stuff that we eat of what's going into our bodies with chemicals and everything but a lot of times we forget about the cleaning products and environmental toxins that are happening so one last thing that we have to worry about sporting all of the sister market merch today feminist tea adventure sweatshirt um but i got chili so i put my sweatshirt on oh pop up <laughs> can you guys see her <laughs> i have my window open and she started putting her head under the curtain like this she cracks me up anyways um i want to do some eye masks i'm gonna do those peter thomas roth um ones that i just got i haven't tried them yet um i stuck them in my skincare fridge down here so i want to get them out but poppy you're in my way <laughs> Um, excuse me pop up in case you missed it in my unboxing video this is what I am using I've never used these before so let's give them a little go here shall we okay the battery died so I had to go grab the spare one but now I'm gonna put these on don't fall camera okay so comes with this little tool that I think helps to scoop it up. So they're all just kind of chilling in this little pot. That was an adventure but I got them right side up in place and they feel really good I doing the eye gels is that the correct way um I had them the other way and it looked really weird and they were like halfway down my face so I switched them I don't really think it matters um Shelly needs my opinion on this here we can come to my room because I have the other color this is what is now to be dubbed the famous Amazon rain jacket. Dubbed she got by the Shelby. Code. No, the Today Show said it, not <laughs> me. And we ordered them. Well, I did. Okay, so I have the gray and then I ordered it in like a coral pink color too on Prime Wardrobe because you can order a ton of things and you don't pay for it. You, They send it to you. You try everything on. You have seven days to try on and decide what you want. And you send back what you don't want and you only pay for what you got. Incredible. But I have the pink color too. How do we feel about this? I also got two different sizes. I like it. I think this is the best size. The other one's bigger. Okay, let's go see the other one. My casserole, we almost done. You're making a casserole? Yeah. You said she was making a casserole? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't hear that part. Keep in mind, the other raincoat that I have is that like mint one from okay. last year. So like I feel like I need to do the gray so that I have something like neutral. That's cute. But I understand what you mean about yeah. keeping it neutral. Okay. It's cute. Do you need a raincoat? <laughs> Can I see the coral? It's more of like a pink. They described it as coral, but it looks more pink. Alex doesn't like the raincoat at all. <laughs> But if you like it, I'd love you to be happy. <laughs> I think it's 
fine. I I mean, you have the mint one. Do you need two I rain need to jackets? Pull that out because it was really big. Mm -hmm. So I need to see if it's like too big. Mm -hmm. I'll pull it out tomorrow. But I would say I should probably go with gray. Okay. It's up to you. What do you think? I mean, you know, I would go with gray. I guess it was almost done. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. What exactly is this casserole? It is cauliflower rice, red enchilada sauce, spicy black beans. Um, I did do chicken to get some protein, and I do love a rotisserie chicken every like six months. So I bought like a rotisserie chicken and just had the white beef. Um, Diced tomatoes with jalapenos and something else. And then I topped it with dairy free cheese and cilantro. It's excellent. Harry Potter's on. I'm about to make. I'm in Chicago PD. We're watching Harry Potter. <laughs> I'm about to make tacos and I just made marks. <laughs> 